How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the SS ROG Strix G16 2023. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 7.8 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place the laptop with the bottom facing up. Using a PH0 screwdriver, remove the 12 screws from the bottom cover. Note that the lower right corner screw is a captive screw, so it only needs to be loosened. The lower left corner screw is a short screw, and the two middle screws on the top are longer. The rest are regular screws. It's recommended to use a magnetic mat to avoid mixing up or losing screws. Prepare the triangular pry tool and spudger, and insert the triangular pry tool from the top of the chassis, prying along the edges. Once inserted, move it up and down to easily open the bottom cover. After opening the cover, use the spudger to disconnect the power cable by pushing both sides of the connector out. After disconnecting the power, remember to press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any remaining power. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Use the spudger to disconnect the power cables from both cooling fans. Remove the five screws securing the cooling fans, three screws on the left side, and two screws on the right. Then, loosen the eight screws on the cooling module in numerical order. These screws are removable, not anti-loose screws. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Gently lift both sides of the heatsink with both hands and slowly remove it. Remember to also remove the fans. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Make sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste from the cooling module. Step 4. Clean the fan. We use an anti-static brush and compressed air for cleaning. Use the anti-static brush to clean the fan blades and cooling modules. Remove the fans. When using compressed air, keep a slight distance to avoid liquid spray. Compressed air helps clean the details, significantly improving dust removal efficiency.
After finishing this cleaning, don't forget to clean the dust from the backplate. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-size method if you like. Step 6, reassemble your laptop. Next, follow the reverse order to assemble everything back. Gently place the heatsink back into position. Reinstall the cooling fan. Start by tightening the screws of the cooling module to about 70%, and once all screws are in place, fully tighten them to avoid excess stress. Tighten the screw securing the cooling fan. Reconnect the cooling fan's power cables. Finally, reconnect the power cable to the motherboard. Replace the bottom cover, snap it into place. Press the power button to start the laptop and check if everything works correctly. and screw back all the screws to complete the process. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.